Terra Luna version 2 is officially the plan. So welcome back. We have some massive Terra Luna updates in this video. I want to break down exactly what Terra Luna V2 means for Terra Luna holders out there. We're going to take a look at the price of Terra Luna. What is it doing now? Potentially, where can it go in the future? We also have some massive updates from the LFG guide as well. I want to break them down. We also have a reaction from CZ of Binance as well. So we'll include that. I want to give you guys that critical information you guys need to know about Terra Luna today. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video hit the thumbs up button as always this is not financial advice but i hope you guys are enjoying the journey so far and guys let's get straight into it so we have this huge update right here terra is more than ust from do Kwon, and he's let off a tweet storm here with some massive plans and he says here it has been inspiring to partake in the dynamic discord regarding the best next steps for terra taking feedback from the community and thoughtful proposals i would like to suggest the following for the path forward and he's linked the Terra ecosystem revival plan too, which we're going to take a look at soon. But let's continue these tweets. He's also said right here, currently these these key precepts underpin most schools of thoughts. The lunatic community is unparalleled in its passion. The builder talent pool is broader and deeper on Terra than most ecosystems. Terra's blockchain is incredibly robust as attested by recent events. At the same time, however, competing interests from varied stakeholders, e.g. Luna holders, UST holders, Terra builders, make it extremely difficult and unlikely to achieve a consensus on a cohesive congruent plan. It would be devastating for broader crypto adoption and advancement if we remain in entropy amidst opposing views. And as such, I propose the following to chart the path forward for our ecosystem. The Terra chain as it currently exists should be forked into a new chain without algorithmic stable coins called Terra token Luna and the old chain to be called Terra Classic token Luna Classic both chains will coexist so that is huge guys we'll come back to that point new Luna will be airdropped to Luna Classic stakers holders residual UST holders and essential app developers also Terra Foundation Luna's wallet will be removed from the airdrop making Terra a fully community owned chain so a chain of the people we believe this token distribution in addition to best efforts by LFG to make UST holders whole best souls for varying interests and time preference for each stakeholder group and most important creates the most viable path to revive the Terra ecosystem Terra 2.0 is focused on developers developers will get an immediate emergency allocation of Luna tokens to fund runway as well as pool of tokens earmarked to align the interests of base layer with its builders call to action we encourage Terra developers to signal support and commit to build on the fork on public channels as soon as possible. TFL will be initiating a governance proposal for the network fork in the next few hours. If the proposal passes, then it will coordinate the fork with the validators. Next Friday, the 27th of May, Terra community is my family. I will always be here no matter how hard it gets. Let's build it back up together. So guys, we have some absolutely massive tweets coming out of Twitter. And I want to point your attention to some important things. We're going to jump in to the Terra ecosystem revival plan soon. So what does it mean for you in particular? We'll break that down. But one thing you need to understand right here is they're getting rid of the stable coins. So what there is, what there is going to be a big focus on, guys, there's going to be a big focus on building apps. So it's not so much the DeFi stable coin anymore that uh, Terra was renowned for. It's going to be all about building up that crypto ecosystem, getting the development on the chain. What else is really important is point number seven. So have a look at this. So the TFL's wallet will be removed from the airdrop, making Terra a fully community owned chain. So this is true cryptocurrency completely decentralized if it's run by the community. Another critical update is uh, the 27th of May. That is when it all seems to happen. And that's when the fork looks to go ahead. And what else is important right now is the call to action. So Do Kwon is encouraging Terra developers to signal support and commit to build on the fork on the public channels as soon as possible. So some huge things are happening right now with Do Kwon. And guys, let's get straight into the Terra ecosystem revival plan. What does it mean for you? And you guys can see right here, he is doing this because he wants to revert, he wants to preserve the ecosystem. He wants to preserve the development. He wants to preserve the community that have all built on the Terra chain. So they're going to Terra chain too. And uh, there's a lot of things built on the Terra chain and he wants to transfer all that activity over to the fork 
fork and uh, there is a lot of users on the Terra station and uh, the brand is known as well. And what he's saying right here is that there are essential apps that must exist in any web in any in any web3 ecosystem to be viable infrastructure, Dex Explorer, payments, wallet, lending market, analytics, staking derivatives, launchpad, bridges, stable coins, NFT exchange, insurance, DeFi strategy, games, and others. And uh, it looks like these ones, if they can come over to the fork, that is, uh, there is gonna be some incentives right there. So essential app developers committing to launch on Terra will receive emergency allocation and also alignment allocation right there. And uh, this is the important stuff. So they're gonna have 1 billion Lunar tokens. So the total supply is getting reduced massively to 1 billion tokens. So again, the price of Luna will go up, guys. So if we're sitting at trillions of supply right now, the new chain will have a much higher price. And uh, so let's break this down. So 25% of these tokens are gonna go to the community pool controlled by staked governance. 1% goes to the essential developers that we mentioned before up the top. 4% the essential developers, one year cliff, four year vesting thereafter, granted after launch traction. 35% percent of all tokens are going to all bonded and unbonded Luna minus the TFL wallet so the Luna Foundation Guard wallet at pre-attack snapshot so for wallets with less than 1 million Luna one year cliff two years vesting thereafter so important to understand there is vesting it will slowly release the cryptocurrency and for wallets with more than 1 million one year cliff four year vesting as well so the vesting period is longer and that 10 percent goes to Luna holders at the launch snapshot 10% unlocked at Genesis, 90% over two years thereafter. So this is really important, guys. So if you hold Luna right now, so if you're a holder of Luna, you're gonna get some of this cryptocurrency when it forks if you hold it at the launch snapshot. So when is the launch snapshot right here? It says right here, the 27th of May. So that is an important date right there. And also you've got 25% UST holders at the launch snapshot. 10% unlocked at Genesis, rest vested over two years thereafter. So if you're a USD holder at the launch, so the 27th of May, you're also gonna get some of these tokens. So it does look like there's a big allocation to USD holders at the launch snapshot. And uh, he does have some other specific breakdowns of uh, some technical details and the timeline, which is important. So again, this announcement has just come out today. And uh, also the network launch is only happening in 10 days time. So, so much action is happening with Terra Luna right now. And we also had a massive update from the Luna Foundation Guard about the foundation's remaining reserves. And you guys can see right here, how much have they got left? They got 313 BTC, 39,000 BNB, 1.9 million AVAX, 1.8 billion UST and 222 million Luna right there. So that is a look at the Terra ecosystem revival plan. So to sum it up at a really high level, to break this down for you guys, if there is a big adoption for the community out there and uh, for this to have value, for this to really generate value in the future, what needs to happen is, uh, you know, all these app developers do need to move across. And uh, also on top of that, the community needs to stay strong with Terra Luna. So if the community and the developers of Terra, they do move across and they are in favor of this proposal by Do Kwon, this potentially is good for the price of uh, Terra Luna in the future version two. If they don't move across, of course, that is a bearish scenario you have to factor in as well. And uh, what's been the reaction from CZ out of Binance right here? So he says SMH, so shake my head. And it sounds like he is not a fan of uh, what's going on currently, uh, if you can read between the lines right there. But uh, I have to say though, in cryptocurrency, uh, what is important though, what gives cryptos a lot of value, even though the reserves are down, so I'm gonna throw this scenario into the mix, even though the reserves of Terra Luna are down, what is actually important in crypto? So if you wanna understand how crypto works, listen to, what to, uh, listen to what I have to say right now. It's not so much the reserves that give cryptos value, it's the activity of people on the chain. So again, if there is a scenario where lots of people do move over to this new chain, if the developers do continue to develop on the new chain and and the community does move across Terra Luna version two 
could morph into something exciting okay so what's important in crypto is where do the people go that is one of the basic questions you need to ask yourself so where are the people going where is the activity being generated in cryptocurrency even though the reserves are down i do still there th i still i do still think there is a chance uh you know potentially terra luna can succeed based on uh, where the people go so that is the really basic question you need to ask yourself are all these developers going to move across are the people the community of terra luna are they going to move across as well are they going to give doquan a second chance that is the massive question and that is what you probably need to think about but as always strictly not financial advice and if we do look at the price of our terra luna right now on kucoin it has uh, maintained some stability around the 0.0002 level uh, so the market may potentially still be absorbing what is going on with this big movement right here but again i think the future of this uh, cryptocurrency is going to come down to the people where do the people go that is the question and guys that is a massive update for terra luna if you guys like cryptocurrency you want to learn about cryptocurrency you can subscribe to the channel so we break down lots of exciting cryptos all the time and today we're breaking down another massive update for terra luna if you guys enjoyed it hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you want and i'll see you guys in the next one crypto zeus signing out